This book is going to kill me. <laughs> Please don't talk to me for a couple days. I need some time to recover. What am I supposed to move on from this? Okay, I don't, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do from here. Hello guys, the time has come for me to start the tandem read. Well, full disclosure, I've already started it, but I'm gonna be vlogging my experience doing the tandem read and also Kingdom of Ash. I think I'm gonna do these two in Kingdom of Ash and just vlog my experience. I am going to make the first half spoiler free. So I'm just gonna kind of tell you my reactions, maybe like film some of my reactions, my thoughts, kind of like how I'm feeling about each book, which one I'm liking more with the tandem read and then also with Kingdom of Ash. And then at the end, I'm going to have a spoiler section. I think I was just going to do a spoiler review, but then something just happened that I really want to talk about. So I think I'm going to leave that at the end for like a spoiler section. So it'll be reading vlog, spoiler free of all three books, review of all three books. And then it's going to be spoiler vlog of all three books spoil the review of all three books. Does that make sense? Okay, so that's the plan. It is Sunday. It's a cozy day and I plan to knock out a lot of this today. So I'm currently on page 113 in Empire of Storms on chapter 11 and in Tower of Dawn I'm on page 55 which is chapter 5. So I'm like basically just started on these books but the goal is to really make a dent in them today. But basically, if you don't know about the tandem read, I thought I would vlog this like spoiler free if you haven't read the Throne of Glass series and you just wanna watch me read it because I posted on my Instagram story if people wanted to, wanted me to vlog me reading this, these two and Kingdom of Ash. And everyone but like one person said yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that, but I want everyone to be able to watch it. So it's gonna be spoiler free at the beginning. Obviously I can't really say much about the characters or anything like that because this is like the last books in a series. But I'll be able to kind of share my reactions, thoughts, the tandem read, like thoughts on the tandem read specifically. So if you don't know, this is the sixth and seventh book in the Throne of Glass series. And most people tandem read them because they happen at the same time. So you can read them as one book. And also at the end of Empire of Storms, there's a huge cliffhanger that when you read that, you aren't going to want to read like a 600 page book. I don't know what my dog's doing. About the same like timeline because it's not going to go straight into what happens after this so you read them at the same time so then you finish both and you can go straight into kingdom of ash so if you read them in order you can read empire of storms and then tower of dawn and then kingdom of ash or you can also read tower of dawn then empire of storms and then kingdom of ash i feel like with the throne of glass series there's so many ways you can read it so so far empire of storms i'm really really enjoying it's very interesting and i feel like there's so many like different points of view and i'm excited to get to like just more of what's happening. I feel like we're in the middle of a lot of different things and I'm excited to see how they go. So I'm really enjoying Empire of Storms. I feel like it's very like pretty fast paced. And then Tower of Dawn, I am enjoying, but I definitely think it's more like information dumping. You're learning a lot of stuff that you just haven't known. Okay, I didn't explain this, but Empire of Storms is the continuation of the same plot of Queen of Shadows. Like Queen of Shadows ends, this is picking right up with the same characters. This one is about a specific character from the other books, but it's just about that character and kind of the situation around that. So this is like kind of the main plot and this is like one of the characters, if that makes sense. A lot of people don't want to read this because they don't like this specific character, but I really, really like this specific character. So I want to learn and read about this person's story. I feel like things are starting to make sense. You're like connecting the dots. We'll see how it continues and what happens, but yeah. So that's kind of my initial thoughts on the tandem read, but I'm gonna try to read a lot of this today. Hello, I wanted to do a little update on the tandem read because I have been, you know, making some headway. In these two books, I'm about like a quarter through both of them. I feel like there's like so much going on, honestly, in both of them. And so when you combine them, there's like even more going on. And so not to say that I'm not enjoying the Tandem Raid, but like once I get to like a really great spot in like Tower of Dawn, I'll have to swap to Empire of Storms and then vice versa. And it's like, okay, <laughs> it's getting annoying. And then like, because there's so many different POVs specifically in Empire of Storms, it takes like a hundred pages <laughs> to get back to a character that I really want to know what's going on with that person. So I'm like kind of struggling there. I'm on page 225 of Tower of Dawn and page 191 of Empire of Storms. And I think I've decided I'm going to kind of veer off the tandem specific guide. Like I have it printed out. I've been, you know, checking it off, following it. But I got to this point in Tower of Dawn where I was like really enjoying it. Something really awesome happened. 
and I was like, I don't want to keep reading Tower of Dawn, but I have four chapters of my Firestorms to read. So I'm like, I don't want to go swap. And then I was DMing one of my friends about it on Bookstagram and she was like, honestly, like sometimes I would like skip or like cheat and kind of read more of one book and not swap chapters or not swap books until like maybe I got through whatever it was, you know? Like basically reading more chapters than allotted before swapping books because like I want to keep reading, you know? Does that make sense? So I think that's what I'm going to do. And honestly, like I want to say I'm more enjoying Tower of Dawn. And it's probably because I haven't got to like the big plots, like the main stuff. And Empire of Storms are like not even halfway through. I feel like it's kind of building up. So I probably, probably feel differently once I get to that point in Empire of Storms. But I'm like really, really enjoying Tower of Dawn. And I just want to keep reading it and find out what happens. So I'm still going to like tandem read, like read them at the same time. But I think I'm going to just read Tower of Dawn until I get to a point where I'm like, okay, maybe I'm bored or like I got to a good stopping point and then I'm going to switch to Empire of Storms and then kind of <laughs> go from there and just see where I'm at in the list and then maybe read that many chapters of Empire of Storms. And I feel like that's going to make the experience better because I don't wanna like resent the books or get annoyed and make it feel like it's so long. Does that make sense? I don't know. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go with what I feel. But yeah, that's my update so far. But I'll let you know how it goes. Okay guys, I don't know what I vlogged in this reading vlog. I really don't know. But I wanted to update you. I think the last thing I said was that I was going to like deviate from the tandem read. Well, I did that and <laughs> I just finished Tower of Dawn. I haven't read any more of Empire Storm, so I finished Tower of Dawn. I didn't read the epilogue because that spoils the end of Empire Storm. I think I already know the end of Empire Storm because the plot of Kingdom of Ash was kind of ruined for me. So anyways, I didn't read it, but I finished Tower of Dawn and I loved it so much. I feel like this book has a bad rep for being like boring and like not much going on, but I thought it was so good and the character that this book is about, I love so much i literally love this person so much it was just everything i wanted and more for this character and the end was like everything the way that sarah j mass like wraps everything up or like ties everything together it's crazy and it was just so so good i don't know what i would rate it but i just loved it so much i did i don't know if i said this but i wanted to read it work yesterday and i didn't have the physical copy so i looked on amazon and it was on sale for five dollars the ebook so i bought it on my kindle so i've been reading it on my kindle anyways i loved it so much but I think I need a break um, with <laughs> this series for a minute before I get stressed because I know in Power of Storms it's just, it's not going to be happy. Like this book I feel like for the most part has a very like happy vibe to it, tone to it. In Power of Storms I don't think it's going to be like that. So I think I need a moment, a breather before we go into the next book, before we continue in Power of Storms, shall I say. So I'll let you know when I read the next one, but I did really love this. I feel like this has such a bad rap, but I loved it so much there were some things that happened in previous books that i was like sad like i understood but i was sad about and this i feel like really gives a conclusion to some things that i wanted does that make sense i don't know so i loved it so much it was so good and i'm scared to finish the series i'm excited but i'm scared Okay, it is, I don't know. I don't even know when I last talked to you or updated you, but it is Friday and I'm gonna read Empire of Storms. I am on page, okay, 344. And there's like 689, I wanna say, pages in this book. I'm too scared, I can't look. No. I just saw a word that I just did not need to see. Oh my God. Get yourself together. 689. It's how many pages are in this book. And I'm on page 344. And I want to read as much as I can tonight. I'm going to stay up pretty late. And just see how far I can get. So that's where we're at right now. Almost halfway through. Also, I'm really enjoying this. It's so good. I feel like it's very action-packed. Very interesting. Really enjoying it. It is Saturday. I don't know when I've vlogged. But happy Saturday. And I'm on page 438. Right now, we're like... Things are pretty calm, pretty tame. The waters aren't rough, <laughs> pun intended if you've read this book. And we're good, but I know it's not gonna last because I'm at the like last 200 pages, which usually is when crap hits the fan. So I'm scared. Um, I posted 
on my story, on my Instagram story, that I was on part two of this book, and someone replied with crying emojis. And I was like, ma'am, what does that mean? What does that mean? I'm scared. I'm scared. So that's where we're at. I do know kind of what happens because I got the plot of Kingdom of Ash spoiled for me, or part of it, but I don't know how we're gonna get there. <laughs> I'm, I don't wanna read it, like I'm scared. Like I don't wanna read it. Like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna like contain myself, but I wanna try to finish this book today, which I feel like I definitely can because I have a little over 200 pages. That feels doable, even though it's a fantasy book, which reads a lot slower than regular books. But I do have to say, I'm having to remind myself that this is happening at the same time as the things that happen in Tower of Dawn. Like this isn't after Tower of Dawn, obviously. This is at the same time. So I have to kind of remind myself of that. But honestly, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm like, it makes me excited to be able to just read this. Like after I finished Tower of Dawn, I was like, I'm so excited just to have Empire of Storms and just to read it by itself. Like, I don't have to swap with any other book. I can just sit and read this book and enjoy it. And I am, so that's where we're at. We'll see how things go. I'll be updating you, probably more on the spoiler section, but I'll update you when I finish this book. But I'm scared, so. I just need to tell you guys that I finished Empire of Storms and it was brutal, it was brutal. I never want to read anything like that again because it was, it was awful. And I am not well. I'm not well. Um, I am going to immediately start Kingdom of Ash because I have to know. Like if you've read the books, I have to know. I have to keep reading. So what I'm gonna do, it's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm in bed and I'm gonna read until I get tired and fall asleep. So that's the plan and I hope to read a good bit of this tomorrow because I have a binging problem with books, with series, all the sorts. But um, if you heard that the end of Empire of Storms is bad, it's probably worse than you're anticipating. I was not well, I was crying. I've contained myself, it's been like an hour since I finished and I've like composed myself, but I'm still not okay. So that's where we're at. Okay, so I'm emotional, but I'm on page 101. I have to say that there are so many different POVs and so I'm like, like you'll read a chapter from one POV and then it's probably gonna be like 30 to 50 pages before you get to that same person again and so i'm waiting on something to happen but it's obviously gonna take a while because we're also getting other povs it's also so hard to read with this book because it's massive like this is all i've read and this is how much i have left oh my gosh that's crazy i'm just trying to get like 300 pages ish in right now or today i'm not trying to like really make a dent in it which i guess is a dent in it but it's a thousand pages so Okay, it is currently Tuesday, a couple days later, and I did make quite a dent in Kingdom of Ash on Sunday. I'm currently on page 395, which is 40% through the book, so I made quite a dent, but um, I still have like 600 pages left. So I'm going to read some now. I think, I think I'm gonna try to see how far I can get today and maybe finish tomorrow. Is that a lofty goal? I don't know. I'm really, really enjoying it, but it's so emotional. Like so many things are happening and I'm like, my heart hurts for a lot of these things, but I'm also kind of in the mood to read romance. And so I'm kind of excited to finish the series and move on to something else. But I know I'm also gonna be sad when I finish it. So we'll just see how it goes. Also, it came available on Libby. So I'm reading it on my Kindle because the book is a freaking brick. So it's so much easier to read on my Kindle. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm on page 833, so I have like 150 pages left. I'm in the home stretch, and I'm gonna try to finish tonight, but it is currently 9.52, so we'll see. I'm just gonna read as much as I can, and what I don't read, I'll finish in the morning, but I feel like these last 150 pages are gonna be wild, so I'm gonna see how far I can get. I haven't updated you much because I've just been crying, emotionally damaged, smiling, so. But I'm hoping to finish, definitely tomorrow, but not today. And get out of this throne of glass haze I feel like I'm in right now. Because I've just been reading the series for so long, like in a row, you know? It is now time to tell you my thoughts, do a little wrap up of the rest of the Throne of Glass series. So let's do it. So first we have Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn. Most people do tandem read these books. Most people recommend tandem reading these books, but I honestly don't recommend tandem reading these. 
maybe that's just me. <laughs> it probably is just me. I've had a few people I've seen on Bookstagram that don't like the Tandem Raid, but as you saw from this footage, I stopped the Tandem Raid like a quarter of the way through. And I do feel like you can do it. Like most people do it. You definitely can do it. But I just felt like it made me not enjoy both of the books. Like I feel like I couldn't enjoy the books as much as I wanted to doing the Tandem Raid. Obviously I did read Tower of Dawn before Empire of Storms, which obviously changed the game. Like if I would have read Empire of Storms and then Tower of Dawn, and then went into Kingdom of Ash, I physically wouldn't have been able to do that. Because the end of Empire of Storms, you have to go into Kingdom of Ash literally immediately. So I do think what was my saving grace was reading Tower of Dawn first because I feel like this gives you a little bit of a reprieve during the series because there's less action going on in this. There's less like pain going on in this book. It's overall a pretty sweet story. And so I feel like this is a good break to read this book and then don't read the epilogue in this book and then go into Empire of Storms. And I feel like I was able to enjoy this one as much or more <laughs> than I was doing the Tandem Read because I didn't have to swap books. Like I could just pick this up, read it until I finished it and then immediately go into King of Ash. So those are my thoughts on the Tandem Read. Obviously you do what you want, but I feel like that I recommend not doing Tandem Read and reading Tower of Dawn first because I really enjoyed my experience. I felt like I enjoyed both books. Like I truly enjoyed both of these. Speaking of that, I should give you my rating. So I rated Tower of Dawn four and a half stars and Empire of Storms four and a half stars. I've been thinking of my rating and I couldn't decide, but I think I'm gonna sit on that because I feel like both of these books are just so good. Like I truly enjoyed them. I feel like the same amount. They just gave me different experiences, obviously, cause this is more action packed, more pain. This is slower paced, more information, sweeter, you know, that kind of vibe. <laughs> so yeah, there is a lot of information in this. So I feel like if you are tandem reading, you're not gonna wanna necessarily go to Tower of Dawn because, because you're like, okay, I'm just reading literal information. That is very important to go into Kingdom of Ash. Like you need to read this. Like people that don't read this, you need to read this book because it's going to help you in Kingdom of Ash. Some of it went right over my head. Like I didn't understand it, but I understood enough to take me into Kingdom of Ash and it made a lot of sense. You know what I mean? I do think a lot of people don't like the character this book is about and so they don't wanna read it, but I love this character so much before I read this and even more after I read this. So I guess, you know, if you don't like the character, you might not wanna read it, but I truly think you need to read this book. Like obviously it's in the series for a reason. I am on the camp that I love this book. I'm glad it was a part of the series. Some people are like, why is this thing? Why wasn't it put in this book? But I understand why it's a separate book because it's a separate thing going on. You know what I mean? Honestly, before I started reading these books, I hadn't heard of anyone reading Tower of Dawn before Empire of Storms, but I have a friend that did read Tower of Dawn before Empire of Storms. But I do have to say, if you do that, there are things that you're gonna be told in Tower of Dawn that happen in Empire of Storms, kind of just plot points in a way of like what they're doing, kind of. So going into Empire of Storms, you're kind of gonna know that a little bit, but you're not gonna know the big cliffhanger if you don't read the epilogue. Like if you don't read the epilogue in Tower of Dawn, you're not gonna know the huge thing that happens in Empire of Storms. So I enjoyed it, I didn't mind. I kind of liked knowing what was going on in Empire of Storms going into it, cause I could kind of like, I know this is gonna happen. I can breathe, you know, that kind of thing. Any his. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on the tandem read. You can do it if you wanna do it. Allie, my friend is reading it right now. She's doing the tandem read and she's really enjoying it. So that just kind of shows you that, you know, two people have two different experiences which is great. Anywho, so now we're into Kingdom of Ash, which is a brick. I cannot believe that I read this. Like when I look at this, I'm like, how? How did I read this? I don't know. But I have been thinking on this book since I read it and I think I'm gonna give it five stars. Nobody's surprised. I feel like everyone gives Kingdom of Ash five stars. It's like most people's favorite in the series. I just didn't rate it immediately after I read it. I was like, I just wanna think on it, see how I feel. And honestly, after I finished this book, I feel like every book I read flopped. Like I finally got a book that I really loved yesterday. I finished it. But before that, I read a couple books that just flopped. Like they just weren't great. I was so bored. Like it was so hard to read a book after finishing Kingdom of Ash because this book is so good. Like it's humongous, but it is so good. Like I feel like you are on the edge of your seat the entire time. Like there's so much going on and you don't wanna put it down. Like I flew through because there's always something going on. Also, there was a lot of emotion going on. Like there were sweet moments, there were sad moments. I felt like there was not a point in Kingdom of Ash where I was bored. Like you might think, oh, I'm gonna be bored because it's a thousand pages basically. No, I was living, laughing, loving, crying the entire time. So that gives you any inclination. And I do think the end was so, so good. So well done. Everything was just tied up perfectly. And I just loved it. Like Sarah J Mass, when you read this, like there's so many moments I feel like in the series, like you're waiting on to happen and they finally happen in this book. And it's just so good. Like this end was incredible. I just can't, I just can't with this book. I'm very sad that I finished with the series because I miss these characters so much. Like I finished it and I was very relieved because 
my dog is sitting on my tripod. Because I was able to breathe, there's like an end. So I was like, you know, I had a sigh of relief. But I'm also so sad because I love these characters so much and I want more of them. But this is the end of the series. I think Sarah J. Mass has mentioned maybe writing something else about them. But in all of her books, you get like little kind of cameos of other series. Like in this, there's a little a reference. It references... Akatar. I haven't read Crescent City. I've heard that Crescent City is also referenced in this, but there was a moment in this book that Akatar is referenced, so, or the characters there, which is really fun. So I feel like she does that in all of her books, so I'm excited to see in Crescent City because I hope to read Crescent City, like if these characters are mentioned, because I just love them so much and I'm gonna be so sad. Like I'm so sad thinking about it because I don't wanna say bye to them, but I did because that was the end and I have nothing else to read about them. So I try not to think about it, but anywho, I've been talking for a while, so I hope this gives you a little review of my thoughts of these books. I love them so much. I think if you like fantasy, you need to read the Throne of Glass series. I feel like it's just, it has everything. Everything you could love. I think it's so much better than Akatar. Like the plot is so interesting and you're like, why is it so long? The plot literally goes on the entire series. Like it's kind of crazy how long it takes for this plot to end, you know? And the romance is so good. There's multiple romances. I think I said in a previous video that there's like crumbs. I feel like these books, there's definitely more romance in these last books and they're between a bunch of different characters which is really really fun so i loved it so much highly recommend the series i feel like i probably wouldn't recommend it if you're a beginner in fantasy but if you've read a few of fantasy books if you've read akatar you should definitely read the series because it's so so good and i just love it so much it'll definitely be a favorite fantasy series of mine so i'm gonna shut up i hope you enjoyed this video it was quite long if you are watching the spoiler section it, it is very long but i hope you enjoyed i would love to know your thoughts if you've read throne of glass if you haven't read throne of glass and you do start to read it because of this video i would love to hear your thoughts please dm me comment as you're reading well dm me if you have spoiler thoughts because we want to keep the comments spoiler free so if you haven't read the books it's not spoiled for you so anyways i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching Okay guys, this is the first clip in the spoiler section. So if you don't want spoilers, see you later. <laughs> um, I would not watch this, but I wanted to like give little spoiler thoughts on the book so far. So Empire of Storms, we're at, Rowan went to get Dorian from the castle to save him because the witches and the wyverns were like, you know, coming after him. And I'm very excited for Rowan to get back to Aelin. I'm really excited about that. But then in Tower of Dawn, I just realized that Yren, Y-R-E-N-E, if you're wanting me to pronounce them right, your throne place. She is the one that Selena helped in the Assassin's Blade, which is so crazy. Like the person that she, like, it was like at the end, she gives her um, gold, leaves her note and says, the note says, for wherever you need to go and then some, the world needs more healers. She gives her that and she goes on her merry way. Two years have passed and she's now a healer and she's going to heal Kale. That's so cool. Like literally like the fact that that happened is so cool. I was like reading that, I was like, Wait, oh my goodness, is this the person that she helped in the Assassin's Blade? I love how so many things in the Assassin's Blade like comes full circle in the books as you progress. So cool. So here's another little spoiler update for the tandem read. I am currently like on Tower of Dawn. I'm at the part where Ren is healing Kale and she starts like bleeding and stuff. And then Kale realizes that his toes are moving or they both realize his toes are moving. Then I have to swap books. I'm like, you're kidding. I need to, I need more. I need more information that his toes are moving. This is a big deal. I've been reading that. And I think that Ren and Kale are gonna end up together. That's, that's what I think. And I think Nezrin, is that her name, is going to end up with the prince. That's my, that's my feeling. I also think that Dorian is going to end up with Manon the witch. That's my thoughts. I'm probably not saying anything outlandish here. Like a lot of people probably thought that when they were reading it. I don't know. But it's going to be interesting when I watch this vlog back when I'm editing it after I finish these books to see if I'm correct. There's also one part where Kale is talking to Rin and I don't know if I'm saying that right, but anyways, he's basically telling her what happened with Dorian and how he watched the King Butcher Sorsha, however you say her name, in front of Dorian, all this stuff. And that he, like Dorian gave Kale a chance to run away and like, you know, go tell the rebels and stuff. And he's talking about that Dorian is alive, but is he fine? He suffered greatly in ways I can't begin to. And then he doesn't in that sentence and says, it should have been me. I had always planned for it to be me instead. <laughs> and why did that make me literally want to sob? The fact that he always planned for Dorian to live and not Kale. 
like it makes me so sad how much like kale like really hates himself because of everything that's happened it makes me so sad so anyways that's my spoiler update okay guys it is the next spoiler i don't know the next clip in the spoiler section i don't really know i finished tower of dawn and it was so good i love kale so much and i'm so happy for him like everything that i wanted for him and more was this book like i'm so happy that we got this book like a lot of people don't like it they don't like kale but you're wrong <laughs> i don't know how you don't like him i liked him so much and so this just gave me a conclusion for him and i'm so happy for him him and ren i love him so much and the fact that at the very end he realizes that aelin is the one that left the note for ren years ago in the assassin's blade that moment was so so sweet so special the way that he like was healed emotionally physically but also emotionally <laughs> oh my goodness it was so so good and i feel like in crown of midnight kale and selena date and it was just so sweet and special and i love that book i get nostalgic for crown of midnight because it was like selena and dorian and kale like all together in the castle and it was just kind of cozy well not all of it but like especially the first half it was just like cozy them together before everything like crap hits the van you know so i just love that so much and so and especially in air of fire my friend Allie's reading air of fire right now and she's i was talking to her i was like I know you're in the trenches right now with Kale and Selena or Aelin because they're just not getting along in Air Fire, but it gets better. I'm like telling her it gets better. I think she's gonna love this book so much because we both love Kale so much. But I feel like when I read Air Fire, I was like so sad because Selena and Kale aren't getting along and Kale like hates himself because of things that have happened. And I feel like this book just warms my heart. It like heals the part of my soul that was broken from Crown of Midnight and Air Fire. Am I drowning? Yes. I love him. I love this book. I feel like a lot of people don't love this book and I don't understand that because I thought it was so good and I needed, I needed this story for Kale. We needed it because it was so good. I love Kale. That's all. That's more of the story. I love Kale. Okay. I'm reading Empire of Storms now. <laughs> I'm literally gonna sob. Aelin and Rowan finally <laughs> tell each other they love each other and Rowan says, I love you. There is no limit to what I can give to you. No time I need. Even when this world is a forgotten whisper of dust between the stars, I will love you. <laughs> Rowan, why are you doing this to me? Oh my gosh. I'm not okay. <laughs> I'm not. Not well. So I haven't updated the spoiler section of this video in a minute. So last night I finished Empire of Storms and then also read the epilogue of Tower of Dawn. Not doing well, if you're wondering. The part where she is, Aelin is like tortured basically and put in the box is brutal to read. I was literally like, how am I supposed to read those words on paper? And then now that I've started Kingdom of Ash, also I started Kingdom of Ash, it is so brutal to read the chapters where she's being tortured. I'm like, okay, Rowan, I need you to just come save the day because I'm stressed. So that's how I'm feeling. I get that there was like a blood oath. But I still don't understand how they all just stood there while this was while this was happening. While the sea guy, I'm not even gonna remember his name because he's literally the worst human alive. So, um, along with Maeve, the worst. Don't really have much to say except it was absolutely brutal. Like everything that people told me, it was worse than that. Like just reading it was awful. And then finding out that Rowan and Aelin got married, so Rowan would be the king when she died because she was gonna take the like sacrifice and put all the keys back at the word gate or whatever. And the fact that he said, "Where's my wife?" Brutal. Um, absolutely brutal. And now he's literally combing the earth to find Aelin. That is a man right there. I immediately had to start Kingdom of Ash because I need to know what happens. I need for him to find her. So it is currently 12:13 on Sunday. I'm going to keep reading and hope that he saves the day or Aelin is able to, you know, work through her powers. Okay, I'm on page 100. Aelin just like met with the queen and her Maeve. She's not a queen. She's literally the worst. So we're not even going to give her that title. And she told her that like Rowan was in Teresa or wherever and he hadn't come for her. And so she's like, she's talking to Finn, Finn Reese, and he's getting the glass out of her leg. And he's like, I'll get them out. He said, and she couldn't tell him, couldn't start explaining that it wasn't the glass, the shredded skin out of the bone. He wasn't coming. He wasn't coming to get her. She should be glad. She'd be relieved. She was relieved. And yet, <laughs> and yet, <laughs> She thinks he's not coming to get her. I posted on my story last night that I was crying and I just started Kingdom of Ash and I've had multiple people DM me back or reply to my story and say, just wait. Thank you for praying on my downfall. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. I have to be honest, I did look through the book just to see when Aelin gets out because I can't handle much more of this and I don't have much longer, I think. I have like 100 pages maybe. Oof. Okay. Okay. Guys. Guys, I'm literally 
not okay. Because Aeon and Ren just saw each other for the first time since obviously they met in the Assassin's Blade. And Ren said, I went to the tour. I took the money you gave me and went to the tour. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but regardless. And I became the heir apparent to the healer on high. And now I've come back to do what I can. I taught every healer I could the lessons you showed me that night about self-defense. I didn't waste it. Not a coin you gave me or a moment of the time. The life you bought me. Tears were rolling and rolling down Rin's face. I didn't waste any of it. <laughs> Literally. Stop right now. You're kidding me. I've been waiting for this moment. And it has wrecked me. <laughs> it is yours, as it always was. A piece of your bravery that helped me find my own. It gave me courage, the words you wrote. Every mile I traveled, every long hour I studied and worked, it gave me courage. I thank you for that, too. This book is going to kill me. <laughs> now I can't wait for Dorian and Kale to reunite and Kale to be walking. Oh my gosh. And even Aelin seeing Kale for the first time, it was like, I knew you would. I knew you'd do it that he would walk again please don't talk to me for a couple days i need some time to recover okay i'm okay i'm not okay <laughs> i'm on page 520 and lorcan is on the battlefield dying basically and a lied goes after him and she says i promised to always find you i promised you and you promised me i came for you because of it i'm here because of it i'm here for you do you understand and if we don't get onto that horse now we won't stand a chance against that damn we will die Cause the dam's about to break. I'm like, isn't that the sweetest thing in the world? Cause they weren't getting along. That's so sweet. You cannot tell me that the 13 sacrificed themselves. Oh my gosh. I'm not okay, what the frick? What the frick? I just finished. Give me my bash. The fact at the very end, you find out why flowers on the cover oh my gosh I'm not okay <laughs> I'm genuinely unwell what am I supposed to move on from this like I don't I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do from here okay guys I'm gonna do a little brief spoiler review of these books because I just thought I would end the video have a conclusion for the spoiler section of this video I don't have much else to say besides what I said in the spoiler free section but i did want to say a few things that have spoilers first of all i just loved how everything was so intricately woven together i feel like from the very beginning of the series like even in the assassin's blade there's so many things that like kind of just show up throughout the series which is so fun like i don't think i mentioned but lysandra's uncle that was a really cool part of the series and it was just so cool how everything was like intricately knit woven together i don't really know but i do have to say that at the end of Kingdom of Ash, I wish I got more of Dorian and Manon. I've been saying Manon, but apparently it's Manon. I'm just gonna live in my world where it's Manon because I like that better. I wish we got more of them, but I also understand that like, that's not really who they are. You know, they're kind of like more blunt and like closed off and like, they're not forthcoming with their emotions. So I feel like the end for them made sense, but I just wanted a little bit more to see what happens with them. But other than that, it was really like just the perfect ending and I loved it so much. So I think that's all to say for the spoiler section, but I hope you enjoyed a lot of my tears, my journey as I was reading this. Since you're watching this, you have read these books. So please DM me so we can chat about it. I had a few friends on Bookstagram where I was DMing them while I was reading it and it was so much fun. So if you've read it, please DM me. We can chat about it. That's all for the spoiler section. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this long video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.